This is the place that really defines Newman. When you think of Newman, you think of Oxford. This is the place that makes him the man that he became. It's amazing that he had time as an intellectual to, to do all this pastoral work. And to visit every single parishioner, which at the time was, was very, very unusual. And this is something Newman would have known and Newman would have prayed here. So very quickly he's becoming connected to this very distinctively Catholic piety. Oh, this is Newman's library. Oh, wonderful. This is exactly the sort of library I would love to have. This tall writing desk is where he wrote the Apologia Pro Vita Sua, oh, one of his most famous works. Well, it's not often that we sit in a, in a saint's room and just as in Newman's time there's no electricity, you can really imagine him suddenly coming in. People think of saints as distant figures you can't really relate to, but you can imagine Newman just sat here right now because everything is as he left it.